Hey, what's going on guys? Professor Fred here, just giving you a quick video on how to find the interest rate of compound interest in Excel. So here you can see that I do have a small, uh, real quick example, uh, and you already see the result there. So again, we're going to find that uh, interest rate, that same interest rate, that 3.35% in compound interest in Excel. All right, so we're going to use that as a reference point, you know, so kind of like, you know, being in a math book and you look and see what the answer is, <laughs> right? So there it is. All right, so again, real small example. So here we go. So we got Mark invests 1300 in a retirement account with a fixed annual interest rate compounded two times per year. After 17 years, the balance reaches 2286 and 79 cents. What is the interest rate of the account? And again, you already see what the result is. So let's see if we can find that. All right, so I already took the liberty of uh, typing up uh, what the information that we need in order for us to find uh, the interest rate. So again, that principal that Mark invested uh, was the 1300. Uh, the 17, uh, the time was 17 uh, years that it took for the investment to accrue up to the uh, total amount, which was uh, $2,286.79. And uh, the, uh, the interest rate uh, was compounded uh, twice a year. So this is every six months. So basically uh, what the interest rate is that we're trying to find, even though we already know it, but the interest rate we're trying to find, that interest rate was basically cut in half uh, every year. All right, so let's see if we can find it. So I'm gonna find just uh, any random cell. You know, of course you can put it in any cell you want to if you're playing around with it. Uh, so this, I would, uh, this is what you do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to formulas. All right, so usually when you start off in Excel, you go to home, all right? So when you do that, uh, you know, again, starting off at home, you go to formulas. All right, so you see all your formulas here, math and trig, you can definitely do. Uh, There's a lot of stuff you play around with. You see what other things you can do. Even when it comes to statistical stuff, you could do that. But, of course, we're not worried about that. So what we're going to do is, from formulas, we're going to go to financial. Okay. And, like I said, we're looking for interest rates. So we're going to go down to rate. All right, and you see what pops up. So you have the NPER, which is number of periods, uh, payment, which we're not going to worry about, uh, present value and future value, so that's PV and FV, type and guess. So now those last two we're not going to worry about. All right, so let's click on rate, and you see a pop-up window uh, when it comes to function arguments. All right, so usually when it comes to putting in the uh, information, you can either type in the information, or what I like to do is just click the cell where the information is located. So in this case, we have the number of periods, uh, which of course is going to be the number of times uh, that the interest has been compounded times the number of years, in this case, 17. So we're going to take the uh, 17, all right, multiply that to the 2. Okay, and of course, in this in this case, it's going to be 34 periods. All right, so you could, you know, do it either way. So as long, you know, you could do like number of times, com uh, number of times compounded first and then the years. Doesn't matter, uh, just as long as you put those two together because that's the product that you want. All right, so in this case, 34. All right. So again, the payment where there is, there are no payments because again, that 1300, he just put in the size of lump sum. So there are no payments. Uh, so we're going to type in zero present value. All right. We see that we have that 1300. So again, you can either type that value in or just click the cell where it's located. Now for this, we're going to actually put in the negative symbol. All right. And I'm going to show you why in a second. All right, so now the reason why we're putting the negative symbol in for the principal is because that's what you're paying in or what Mark has invested, all right? So usually when it comes to like, if you ever seen your credit card bill or like any other bill at all and you see a payment and you see that negative symbol, that's what that is. So you're paying into um, uh, that investment. So in this case, that's what Mark is doing, all right? So the future value, of course, is the total amount that it accrued up to, which was the 2286. We put that in and you see that already it gave us a value. Now, just real quick, I'm going to show you what it does. If you don't put the negative symbol in, you see that the value pretty much disappeared. So nothing pops up. So it only will do the value or do the calculation if the present value is negative. Okay, otherwise no calculation is done. All right, so everything is in and you can see what pops up here, the value. So we need some kind of value there. In this case, we got 0 0.01675, all right? So we're gonna click okay. 
All right, so you see here we have that 1.675, which we know is not what it is because the result was saying 3.35. Now, how do we get there? Now, you recall that it said that the interest rate was compounded two times per year. This is what the rate is, all right, after it's been basically cut in half or compounded twice a year. So basically, whatever that rate was, it was cut in half, so that means after six months, 1.675% was tacked on, another six months, 1.675% was tacked on, so on and so forth for 17 years. All right, so since it has been compounded twice a year, we have to multiply that number back uh, to that rate uh, that has been cut, uh, that 1.675%. So we just simply say the equal sign, or type in equal sign, because of course we're gonna do a calculation. Any cell is fine. I'm gonna click that percentage. All right, multiply that by two. And once you have that, you hit enter. And there you go, 0 0.0335, which was the original rate that it gave us as a reference saying that, well, basically, you know, what was the interest rate of count at 3.35%, uh, we have found it here. And that's all you have to do. So I would say practice, 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 study, study, study and just continue to do what you're doing and just play around in Excel because it can do a lot of, um, a lot of calculations for you when it comes to money. So there you are, I'm out.